welcome back to the channel this is Sarah Tuaris in case it's your first time to see me kindly do subscribe if you're my returning subscriber thank you so much for choosing to watch me again guys today we are in the garden this is our home garden and today I want to show something we are planting our matoke or the sweet banana or the bananas uh, we have varieties we have the sweet banana we have the bogoya and we have the real matoke so this is our home garden and cassava is for the school this was the school garden for cassava and we have eaten it it's almost finishing we still have some down there but it's it's finished and then this one will eat it in third term by third term it will be ready second term we are going to be unlucky because we don't have anything planted but that's okay at least this first time we had something to eat but yeah this is our cassava for our school and then uh, right now we are planting oh guys before we go there um last time i think it was one week ago we ha we went and uh, harvested not even harvesting we went and brought these young ones of the um, bananas and then we thought tomorrow morning we'll be able to come and plant them but unfortunately that evening kim's dad got really 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 sick and we just had to rush him to the hospital so from there we have been the hospital have been hell and whoever who knew about it and we're sending us recovery messages we're sending us some kamani thank you so much for really blessing us i know um in sick we are here together in happiness and sickness in growth and in health and in wealth so we are here together so thank you so much whoever sent us those messages they were encouraging so many people did research they sent us to doctors they recommend us to so many doctors thank you so much may god bless you abundantly and in case you did not know we are so sorry you know sometimes when you're passing through something it's 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 uh, your mind just goes everywhere so our minds was everywhere those who were checking us during those moments that's that's with the one we are telling you know we are not uploading because of this and this you know we are not doing this oh when they wanted to say tell us something or oh, they were just greeting us that's when we would tell them that uh kim's dad is very 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 sick but thank god thank god yesterday uh we went there in the morning when he's improving even today morning they say that that he is trying to improve so thank you so much for the prayers if you haven't prayed for us right now a minute of prayer amen let us pray for him so that he can get back home very well because you know what he's the chairman of the village um you know you know so many so so many people are looking up up to him they have grandkids they have kids they have us and then the village and the community at least so he's a really useful person in this particular moment so we ask god to heal him and he comes back home safely but anyways also in that process sisters and sister Anne or teacher Anne lost her mother-in-law we were also struggling to go there it was raining we struggled eh, it was hell and then uh, during that time we lost a grandma in the village eh, that week that week have been so stressful but thank god we are still fine and for those who passed on may they also rest in peace we still pray for them may they recover and may our hearts recover and heal from that pain because it's painful to lose someone i pray for teacher Anne to be okay please teacher Anne, in case you watch this video kindly kindly please 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 um that's part of life people comes and go so that's part of life but try to find a way to heal because she was really 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 pinched like the the blow was too much for her so anyways and again like few days ago teacher janet she's pregnant and she's soon giving birth but guess what she said you know what if director i don't want to sit at home and just sleep i would want to come to school and teach and do some exercise but guess what <laughs> she's now sick 
666 she's not like the due date is not yet ready but she just had some complications and she was rushed to the hospital but thank god she's also making she's fine she's coming out of the, of the hospital today so we may see her today or tomorrow or she will just go back because you know it's her choice but when we wanted her to be at home this whole month but she said no she wants to be at school but anyways that apart we went and harvested our not even harvesting we went and got these ones yeah but this clip is here when we are i want you to see when we are digging i want you to see that anyways this is the clip <laughs>
So guys, now that we have seen how we go to use banana uh, plants, now that you know, right now we want to teach you how we plant them. We got our manure from the sugar cane factory where they make sugar and some sweets. So that's how we do it. You make the hole, it sits for like a month and so. Then uh, you add some fertilizer for like two to three weeks so that it can kuvunda very well, so that it can rotten very well, not even rottening. I don't know. Um, then when you finish, you plant it. our water he came specifically to be working in the garden for us so we'll be paying him monthly thank god and uh, he really so far he's doing amazing he's going to help us around yeah and at the end of the day we'll be getting something for his family back home he's married with kids two kids two kids married with the two kids and yeah he's working for his kids yeah Guys, uh, we have just started to plant. This is the second one. And the third one. And then the fourth one. And guys, we still have more money here. You know, as I told you, we are going to plant vegetables. We are going to plant uh, fruits in this garden. We want this garden to be very colorful. We won't stop buying tomato, onions, green pepper, uh, eggplants, the African eggplants, the dodo. We want to stop all of that so that we, we get each and everything in our garden. You know, my family is growing bigger and bigger every day. I know, <laughs> I know they have some things that I don't post. Not because I don't want, but sometimes I don't have time. Sometimes uh, the story is very, very bad that I would not like to share it. But the family is growing bigger and bigger. So we will need the food. So we are securing food first. So uh, this fertilizer is going to go again in the garden. And I'm going, I talked with Sarah Opendi. In case you know Sarah Opendi, Opedon, Sarah Opedon, kindly tell her that I'm inviting her to come to the village and she teaches me how I can grow organic farming. Because this manure is organic. Yes, yeah, so I want to know how we can grow organic farming. She had promised me to come. Sister, I'm still waiting for you. The day you say that you're coming, I'll be very prepared to receive you here. But anyways, let me go take you through. All around. We have around a hundred... Uh, we have around a hundred bananas that we are going to plant in this garden. And then down there we will be planting corn and beans.
Papa to cook the chicken first. So guys, we are going to launch this whole area, but um, the, the, the bananas are not enough for now because uh, we haven't got really time to go and look for them because we are looking for the best one. Yes. We want to plant all of this place we want to put here. Eggplant, African eggplant, Mawiti, like that. Yeah, so I'm going to get in the future. And it's raining very much. And again, the big, big, big thing. Down here we have the well where we can get the water for irrigation in case the sun is too much. But here we, I want to slope down. And I see because uh, they have been weeding down here, so I want to go and see how they have done it, if it's good, so that we can start planting the beans. And for the groundnuts, they are really, really, really beautiful. I'm loving them. Yeah, so I can't wait also to go there and I see the progress. Okay. So this is what they are doing today. It's really beautiful. So right now it's ready for us to um, to harvest, ah, to plant. Okay. So from here, downwards, we are going to plant um, beans, sort of beans, because here it's a stony place, so we can't plant bananas here. They will not come out the way we want them to be. And the rest garden, that's our neighbor's rest garden. Wow, wow, wow. Then the other one is sugarcane plantation is up to there. <laughs> anyway, this is our, our school cassava. I told you down here we still some cassava. That's our school cassava. And uh, we are remaining with some few weeks, like two to three weeks to end the term. And in case we end when we haven't finished eating it, then we'll start with it next time. So I think that's what we had for today. Guys, I want you I want to ask you to pray for us. We have so many people are dying, not just in my village but in Uganda at large. You can hear every day someone is going for the burial. It was not used to be like that. And it's getting really scared. So many people are being scared. Me too. And then sick people. We have so many sick people. If you go to the hospital, guys, that's when you will see that people are really sick. But anyways, we pray for Kim's dad to come back home safely, guys. Pray for us. Uh, yeah, send us some sweet messages so that we can feel comforted. Comforted yes and for those who have been sending us those beautiful words thank you so much thank you so much for encouraging us mostly kim because um he was very weak but right now he's you know men they are weak when the the thing is there but when it loosens up they start to be normal but when they have their pain inside so let us pray for him and pray for kim's family um yes but anyways, and then teacher Janat, um, let us pray for her, she leave as well. The time is not yet there, but it's soon there. And by the way, for my sister Gladys, I know she might be two months or one month or some days, the baby to come. So let us also pray for her so that she can have a safe delivery. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you so much for tuning in. And guys, it's windy, so sorry. But guys, as always, don't forget to do that. Subscribe. 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 Love you all. Bye-bye. Love you. See us in our next vlog. Peace.